video so today's video is a get rid with me featuring my hair and my face so we're doing a simple everyday look for when you're going to school when you're going to work and you really don't have the time you know to be getting all glammed up i just don't want to look cute or whatever i achieve this look keep on watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you already subscribed don't forget to press the notification bell so you can get notified when i post more videos also disclaimer i'll be saying cute a lot of times in this video like i'm sorry but i was feeling cute <laughs> yeah all the products used will be listed down below in the description box <laughs> hello so i'm gonna start with my hair i'm gonna do a pretty simple five minute hairstyle that's all so if you're going to school you're going to class you really don't have time to be doing fancy hairstyles you just need something that's going to be quick but it's also going to look good so how i start i start with my hair like this my hair is stretched from i think two days ago i i did um i plated my hair but before i slept i do i did a three strand twist so we call it a man so that's what i did and then i didn't do anything yesterday just because i was lazy i mean i i can't do it at night so i just put a bonnet over my head and i went to bed and my hair is still quite stretched it's not a train smash okay so how i'm going to start is i'm going to start spraying water conditioner and oil mixture on my hair so this is just to hydrate my hair and to make sure that it is moisturized so how i start as that i just spray it all over okay and then you just go over your head with your hands to make sure that every single part of your head gets the moisture So I can feel my hair that it's actually quite damp and I feel good about it. You can see. Right? Okay. So then the next step is to take care of the edges. So some people will take care of the edges after they've done the hair, but I start with it. I don't know why, it's just how I do things. So what I use is I use a molding gel. And this is what it is this is what it is it's called the vita molding shell i think it's mostly used for dreadlocks but <laughs> here's what it looks like i've had it for a couple of months now and i'm addicted to this stuff so i think you can actually get this i've never seen it at clicks or discam i think they sell it at like salon supply stores i think definitely you can get it there so I just take a little bit, a little bit, okay, so a little bit, I just take a bit, and then I go to the edges of my hair and apply it. I'm not trying to create like a fancy, you know, artistic edge and gentons with my, because I don't even have baby hairs, but like with my edges. But I'm just trying to look neat and clean. So then I use this brush. And then I just comb the hair back. So this is not something that I learned from anywhere, but this is just something that I saw that works for my hair. And, you know, this product doesn't actually, it doesn't um, damage or dry out my edges. So I just saw it as just, it's all good. See, once I'm done with that, I just stretch out my hair a little bit because you just come to the part of actually sort of like pulling up my hair. So I don't use a string or like a pantyhose thingy, my jiggy. I use a scarf. So those small scarf scarfs 
that you get at Mr. Price or the fix. This particular one I got from Mr. Price last year. So I take it, it's, it's this big, as you can see. And I don't know the shape. It's sort of, it's a diamond shape. So I fold it. I fold it in half. Then I just keep folding it until it's like a, a straight zoom zoom until it's like this and then once I get it like that I just I prefer using a silk scarf just because it doesn't tug on my hair and I don't feel like it doesn't cause tension for me because I don't like things that it causes me tension because it gives me a headache so I just pull from the back Pull from the front, pull from the back, pull from the front, pull from the back. How far you can keep pulling um, your scarf depends on the length of your hair. And how much hair out do you want to leave. So, I mean, if you've got longer hair, then this style works far better than for someone who has shorter hair. I would know <laughs> be using this car since my hair was short and honey it used to be struggle so you just tie it and then you just tug it in so that it looks neat don't want anything untidy right so you just pull it pull your hair pull it pull it Because it is raining outside so I am so sorry if like you can actually hear the raindrops and all those things sorry about that but nature be nature okay and then that's really pretty much it like um this is what I do and I feel like I look cute I look neat honey <laughs> And then you just go back with your brush and then you just make sure that your edges still look clean. It's just about cleanliness and neatness for me when I do this stuff. Just when I look. <laughs> okay, so then that's it. I'm pretty much done with my hair like this. Let me not forget to comb that back, y'all. Then Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so now i'm gonna go on with my face and the first thing that i'm going to do with my face is i'm just gonna apply some primer so the makeup look that i'm going for i'm using the maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser so what i'm going for now is just you know a quick everyday minimum makeup minimalistic makeup look that you know you can do quickly before you go to school and you go to work because you really don't have all the time between your hair and your face to be doing too much and you still need to go to school still need to eat i mean life is too hectic <sighs> okay And then the first thing that I do is I start with my eyebrows. My eyebrows are not shaped or tweezed or whatever. I'm just really scared to do anything to my eyebrows because, I mean, there's hair, but I don't think there's much of it. And I don't want to get rid of it. Okay. After brushing them, I'm going to use my pencil. This pencil that I use is um, a pencil that I got from Fantasy like 10 rand if you don't know what fantasy is fantasy is like a little china little china shop it's like china okay fantasy gets their products from chinatown so that's just what it is 
so this is like cost me like 10 rand like i said so i love i love this pencil and if it ain't broken don't fix it so i start wow okay let's start Okay. I mean things are not gonna look cute when I start. Things are not gonna look cute when I am done and I've cleaned up my eyebrows. If it wasn't for concealer guys, my eyebrows would be a mess. Then I go to the other one. I just fill it that out. For me the most important thing when I do my eyebrows it's just being able to identify where my arch is once i've done that then i've pretty much won and it's so important that i mean they look similar like they look similar in terms of shape because you know if you have a soft arch here have a soft arch there you don't want like one eyebrow going like this and the other one you know they'll look cute so i just used my spoolie to brush that out. <laughs> oh, okay. That's not panic. They're fine. Okay, and then the next thing that we do, we don't clean the eyebrows up. So what I use, is I use a cream concealer and I use this. This is the colors. Colors is, I think it's like a Foshimi makeup, like the Foshimi house brand for makeup. So this is a contour kit in medium dark. So it basically just has four colors, different shades of concealers. And I use the second lightest one for underneath my brow and the third darkest one for on top of my brows. So yeah, let's start. I'm going to be using a concealer brush. I got all my brushes from AliExpress. I bought them beginning of this year. I think it cost me, including delivery, it cost me about 100 rand for 18 brushes it's a set so <laughs> bargain so i'm just gonna go in there with my brush then i'm gonna go i'm going to i'm going to i don't even i can't even see what i'm doing Hey, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Then I go to my next. Next brow. Honestly, I need, to, I, need to, I need to do something to my hairs because they're a lot. And because of that, I struggle. Just so many sparse hairs up in here. Then I went into the darkest shade, second darkest, third darkest shade for my, on top of my eyebrows. I mean, is this even making sense? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so I finished my eyebrows off camera because like it was bad and 
when you're rushing off to school or going to work you really don't have the time you know to start all over you just need to you know quickly just fix that up so this is what i ended up with i really need to shape or thread my eyebrows because that's why i'm struggling so much and then i used my beauty sponge to just blend out the concealer and this is what we have so then my next step is i'm going to okay so what i do is i sort of like cover up my darker areas and my eyelid with like a light concealer this this shade right. especially when I'm, I'm i'm not going to be using foundation so my quick makeup routine i don't use foundation i just use concealer but you won't see that so i just go underneath my eyes Don't ask me why I do this. I don't know. But it's just something that works for me. Gives me like a really glowing skin. Like I look good when I do it. So it's like I can't stop. It don't make sense but I like it. It's a cold door. So I blend it out. What more? We would sponge that I got from this game a long time ago. I was supposed to be buying a new one. But girls lazy. Blend that out quickly, quickly, man. Quickly. Beat that eye up. Okay, so now we at the next step. The next step is the foundation step. But I don't use foundation. I use concealer for that. Just because I'm trying to keep it simple, yeah. You know, light, clean face, just clean and skin like finish. So, usually, the foundation that I use is the Rimmel Match Perfection in the color Mocha 503. And I mean, me and this foundation, we're just going through stuff right now because it gives me an orangey finish, and I do not like that. I think it's the change of seasons. My skin changes, like color can changes tone. Next thing, so I'm taking a break from foundation as a whole. In fact, I think I need a new foundation because this is, this is the first foundation I ever bought. So I think, you know, it's time for, to explore my options, try something different. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And when I do, you'll be the first to hear about it. So I use the Pro LA Girl Pro Concealer, Pro Concealer, High Definition Concealer. I use it in the color Toast. This is like my exact skin shade. I went to Diskim. I asked, they tested it on my face, and they gave this to me. So I've been buying this, and it has not been changing skin tones on me or t undertones or whatever. It's just been really working perfectly with my skin. So I'm just gonna squeeze. There you go. And then I'm just gonna put this all over my face. Start with my forehead. J, not too hectic. J, J. for now you can always add more later really add more later than half too much on your face all right and then i'm gonna use my beauty sponge again to blend that out Whilst we're here, like, what foundation do we use? 
like I need a new foundation like for real for real not that there's anything wrong with the one that I'm using but it was my first foundation so it's like I want to exp I still want to explore what other products are out there you know because the proof there are other products out there but I just need to change it up so it's just you know what's next what do I try next don't tell me about no Bobby Brown it's expensive let's start with you know your drugstore brands your pharmaceutical brands because we don't call no pharmacies drugstores in South Africa then now my forehead is my problem area it is my problem area why is it my problem area because I got acne on my forehead I get pimples all the time as you saw I had scars like dark spots from pimples because of it so this concealer is quite good because it actually conceals and hides my imperfections quite well and I don't need for it to look cakey for that to happen it just does what it needs to do Just blend that out like blend that out even up to where your hairline starts just because it's not like a clear separation between where the foundation starts and this part so do that honey go down as well for the same reason Ugh. Okay, we're done with that. And then what is next is some more highlighting. How are we going to do that? We're going to be using another concealer. LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. And this color is medium beige. I'm actually supposed to be using Fawn, but when I bought it, I bought this one. This one has it's a much, much cooler undertone than what I should actually be using. So I know now that I'm supposed to be using Fawn, but... I bought it, so I must use it. So squeeze that out, and then I'll go under my eyes. And the other side. Because like I said, it's has a cool way cool undertone that what I should use for my skin I go back to my toast and I, I sort of like mix it with it a little bit and that's it and then I use my beauty blender to blend it out it's not a beauty blender though. it's a beauty sponge because the beauty blender is a brand blend that out My nose is an itch. Uh, I don't know why. Then you go into the other side. Oh, bye. 
right. Okay. All right. And then we are basically done. Basically done. So what's next is I'm going to use I'm gonna set my face with, with the mark which is an even brand magic's prep and set spray check that out and then just spray that all over your face <laughs> whilst we wait for that to sit in you will then go on to apply your mascara. Oh, I'm going to be using the um, Essence Lash Princess. It's not like the, the thing it has gone off. So, yeah, the Lash Princess one, it's a green one. So, I'm just going to take out the air of the X, yes. complete look this could be a complete look and you just go and be done but because I like being extra I cannot do without you know highlights so let's just say from this point it is optional all right okay so what I do is first I mini contour so I used an angled brush like this one from my set um, and express like I said before then I used my slave or days matte palette from switch beauty that I bought ages ago so let me show you what I'm talking about so this is what the palette is so I use this this shade uh, well I mix these two because I, I usually just brush my brush across these two for contouring so basically I do powder, powder contouring so I do that shake off the excess and then and then I go to the other one more and some more I'm kidding and then I go to you know to just the joy line so this part is all like I said from this point on it's like optional thing that you wanted to like I will I, I could have been done after I did my mascara, but this is optional. I just want to look extra cute, you know. Maybe I'm eyeing someone and trying to do things. So I actually forgot to do this after after I was done with my eyebrows. I used the Essence Brow and Lash and Brow Mascara Gel. So what it does is that it sits. my eyebrows and this is so important for me because since I haven't shaved my eyebrows and they're a mess you know my hair my eyebrow hair gets all over the place at times so yeah this I love okay 
and then I go to the most eccentric part highlighting so I use my fan brush which too is from my it's the only brush collection I have okay it's the only brushes I have so I use that and I used my Wow Cosmetics Diamond Highlighter Palette. So Wow Cosmetics is a cosmetic brand that I, well, the products, they have everything. Foundation, concealers, blushes, bronzers, um, highlighters, eyeshadow palettes, lipsticks, lip stains, lip glosses, lip liquid lipsticks everything they've got it so i buy i buy my wow, Pro, wow cosmetics products from alpha farm pharmacy in greenfield but i have seen that actually have it in discam but not discam in east london other discams maybe in Joburg or i don't know where but not in east london i haven't seen it but they do have it on their website so they have it at some discam shops So, I here's what the palette looks like. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. So basically, it has five shades, right? Right. So it has a gold shade. It has another gold shade, but it's not the same gold. It's subtle. It's like gold light. And it has like a copper gold it has a white gold which I barely use because I'm trying to look ashy and then it has a rose gold which I love so yeah. I just do this I really just do this then excess off and then start with my nose my cheekbones my cupid's bow Lightly under my arm, and then I used a slightly smaller brush for my eyelid corners. So when I do this, I use just the gold shade. Okay, and then this is what it looks like, you know, it looks cute or whatever. And then onto my lips. So I like I don't like to do lipstick because I'm gonna be busy the whole day. And when you have lipstick, you have to maintain the color, like you have to make sure that it doesn't wash out and all those things. And when you eat, like too much admin so what i do is i use a lip gloss i can just use vaseline or any other lip balm anything girl but i'm trying to look cute so this lip gloss is the essence shine 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 lip gloss it is the color one behind the scenes Ooh. Ooh. Right, 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 Mogi, all right. And then, so, I spray for the last time. Shake, 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 shake. Shake my jelly shake. Whew. Yes. So what I don't do is I don't bake simply because I, I my skin is pretty dry and if I bake honey I don't look cute. 
I don't look nice. I look like a cracked heel. Like, Amazon pants on you. But it's dry. And different look. That's what I look like on my face. So really, I'm not gonna bake. I had powder, but like, I saw that it doesn't work. So maybe when it gets too hot in the summer, I'm gonna go back and do that. But for now, that's not my thing. So basically, this is what my makeup look is. I'm done.